YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Lisette. And if you're not new here, well, thank you for sitting around because I'm so inconsistent and I don't know how you're even still here. But thank you, I love you. So as you can probably tell by the title, today's video is all about how to make money online through apps or websites. Now, this is part two because I have another video on my channel. And if you don't know about it, then I'll link it somewhere below and you can check it out. Um, but it has been a while since I last posted that video, but the response has been so amazing. I'm almost at 7,000 views, which is crazy to me, so thank you guys. So to reward you, I have an updated list of things that I use, either apps or websites, to make extra money on the side. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I would like to talk about is a website called Mechanical Turk, or MTurk. Um, some of you might have heard about it because it's been talked about on YouTube before, However, I haven't found a lot of videos on it, just a few, so I figured I will share my stuff with you. So I use Mechanical Turk as pretty much my main source when trying to find extra money on the side, just because they have so many tasks that you can do for like 10 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, and everything does add up, so I definitely recommend you try it out. The only thing with this is I believe you have to be 18 or older in order to make an account. And you also have to already have an account with Amazon because it's run through them. So other than that, I think it's a great way for you to make extra money and I'll insert a clip somewhere around here so that you can see how it actually works. Mechanical Turk, and now I'm going to talk about Ebates. Now I know a lot of you are probably like, I've heard of Ebates before. Yeah, me too. So a lot of YouTubers have been talking about Ebates for as long as I can remember. Um, people like Trisha Paytas. Um, why is that the first person that comes to my mind? Anyway, there's a lot of people that talk about Ebates, and um, some of them are sponsored by them. I'm not one of them, I'm not sponsored, they don't know who I am, however it is a great way to earn some cash back from the purchases that you make. So if you aren't familiar with Ebates, basically what it is is a cash back website. So you use their link to make purchases on any website that you like, as long as they're you know featured on their website, then you can earn like 2% back, 15% back, sometimes 20% back, sometimes even more. It really just depends on the day and if they have a special promotion or not. So I've been using it for a few months, but I'm not consistent. I forget to use it a lot, which is kind of bad because I waste so much money online. But if you shop online a lot, I definitely recommend you use Ebates because you can get so much cash back. Like I'll show you my webpage somewhere over here so that you can see how much earnings I've made so far. And like I said, I don't use it every time I go shopping because I forget. But if you don't do that, you can get a lot of money back, and I definitely recommend you do that. So now the next website I'm going to tell you about is one that was featured in my last video, but it's still something that I use till this day. So I figured that I'll just re-mention it. It's called Paid Viewpoint, and if you're not sure what Paid Viewpoint is, it's a website where you just take surveys, and normally they pay you 8 to 10 cents per survey, um, depending on your store that you have with them, like if you're consistent with your answers and they can tell that you're telling the truth and you're being honest then they reward you and then you get paid a little bit more so I definitely recommend taking your time with these surveys they're not long at all they're like three to five minute surveys really easy and you can do it on mobile as well so I definitely recommend that you check them out because it's one of my favorite websites I made over a hundred dollars just by taking surveys and I've been using them for years, they're legit, and I promise you if you check their website often, then you'll be getting rewarded just as well. The next website is... The next website is called Slice the Pie, and what this website is, is basically you can listen to different songs. Sometimes they're mainstream artists, and other times they're rising artists, and you basically just give them a review. And it has to be detailed, like you can't just say, oh, nice song, or oh, this sucks, like, that's not really constructive, and they're not going to pay you for that, you know what I mean? So the better the review, the better you get paid, 
I'm gonna admit I'm kind of lazy, so a lot of the times my reviews will sound repetitive and they don't pay me very well, which makes me not want to use that website, but that's just me. But if you really, really love music and you're really into that and you really want to, you know, give your input on that type of thing, I definitely recommend you check out their website because you can get paid for it and they almost always have something for you to review so it's not like you'll go on the website and then you have nothing to do most of the time they will have something for you to do and i'll insert a clip just so you can get an idea Now this next website is one that I use pretty often, but it also depends on how often I get campaigns, and this website is called Heartbeat. So I think this one is only for females, so fellas, I'm sorry, but I think it's only for females. So it's basically run off of social media, you post and you get paid for campaigns, or sometimes you just receive free products in exchange for a post, and it just has to be up for 72 hours. And if you don't really care for it on your feed, then get rid of it after those two days. So, um, yeah, it's pretty simple. You just take little quizzes every time they send you campaigns through email. And if they think you're qualified and you fit the criteria that the client needs, they'll send you an email saying that you've been accepted and all the details on what you have to do with that post. So, for example, I've done things for apps and you just have to take the picture of you using the app, post it for 72 hours and you get paid. I believe the pay is depending on how much followers you have, so the more followers you have, the more money you make. I'm around the 2,000, almost 3,000 range, so I make, you know, a little something something. And I'm not complaining, I'm actually really happy that, you know, I'm making extra cash. And it is via PayPal. PayPal? It's via PayPal, so you get everything sent to your PayPal and they're pretty good with like their turnaround time to give you back your money. They give you your money pretty much right away after those 72 hours, which is something that I'm really, what I really love about them. The next website I'm going to tell you about is not really a way to make money. However, you can receive free products and that's through the website called Influencer. Now, Influencer is something that I've been using for years. I found out about it here on YouTube, and if you haven't heard about it, that's why I'm here. Send you a survey to fill out to see if you meet the criteria that the client needs, and then you'll receive a box box from them. And that can be from anything from makeup to perfume to food. They send you pretty much everything, and it's really cool. I've been using it for years. I received stuff from Marc Jacobs, Tab on D. It's a really great way to receive full-size products or even sample products, like a really expensive, good quality brands. So I'm really happy with Influencer. I've been using it for so many years and I have no complaints. You receive a box box and then you have to answer the survey about your opinions on it and throughout the whole term you have to like post on social media your thoughts. You know, you can delete them afterwards if you want, but it's just a way to kind of boost your influence up so that you can receive more in the future. Now, the next things I'm going to talk about are two different apps, but they pretty much do the same thing. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Mercari, which I don't know why I'm showing you this because it's going to be on the screen somewhere. Alright, so this app is called Mercari, and what I love about this app is that it's so easy to sell your things here. So as you can see, I've sold... 36 things it's just really easy to sell your stuff on here like the first day that I even put my um, first day I ever created an account on here I sold an item within five minutes which was crazy and I was like whoa that was really easy so what I love about this is that you literally just take pictures I'll show you right now um, these are just some of the things that I have on sale right now it shows you how many people viewed it and how many people liked it or, or are watching it. And yeah, I just have a bunch of random things that I either don't really use anymore or that I used to love but it's not really my style anymore. I have everything on here and everything's in good condition so I sell my things pretty fast. 
it's really easy to sell your stuff on here. So if you want to make extra money, just look through your closet or look through your house or even through your mom's closet if she has stuff that she doesn't want, sell it. Why not? As long as you get permission, don't say, oh, the set said I have to sell your stuff. No, don't get me in trouble. <laughs> just tell your mom, like, hey, do you still want this? Because, you know, 90 stuff is in, so why not just try to make money off it? Now, the next app that I used to sell stuff on is Depop, which is pretty popular here on YouTube, so I'm sure you already heard about it. And basically, it's a lot like Instagram in terms of like going through things and liking them if you want, and it's easy to sell your stuff on here as well. I noticed that more of the vintage unique items sell faster than anything else. Me, I don't necessarily have a lot of vintage items, however, I do post like brand names because that's what seems to sell on this app so I definitely base it off of the type of thing that I'm selling when I'm switching between apps like if it's a higher brand then I'll sell on Depop if it's like random Forever 21 stuff I'll sell on Mercari just because the demographic on each app is a little bit different so I try to tailor that to each app if that makes any sense so that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that I wasn't talking too fast or too weird. I hope I'm not too weird for you. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. So after my highly successful last video, I hope that this one is just as helpful to you. I know that this has been highly anticipated. And yeah, I've been wanting to make this for a while. I just haven't had like the chance to do so but now that I have a new camera I'll be making more stuff for you guys so thank you all for watching I hope you have an amazing day and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and also hit the little bell so you know when I post thank you guys for watching I love you and I'll see you next time